Hi. Hello, everybody. I just dropped a pen. I'm sorry. I'm a few seconds late. Um, let's say you play slots in Mesquite on the Nevada-Arizona border, uh, an hour's drive northeast of Las Vegas. And let's say Mesquite's casinos are five minutes from your home. Uh, so they are easy to visit. Perhaps because you're taking my course, you've noticed something. During the week, when a few locals are at the casino, you're seeing a lot of hand-paid jackpots. And during the weekend, when crowds of out-of-town players arrive from Arizona and Utah, you don't see nearly as many hand-paid jackpots. Uh, this is a situation being explained to me by one of the members of my slots enthusiast uh, growth network who just joined uh, because he's taking the course and he was talking about what was going on with him. So fewer players are winning during the week. Many players are losing during the weekend. Why would you ever play slots at a time when so few players win, even if it has a crowd? Instead, play when others are winning, right? This circumstance isn't just in Mesquite. It's also in Reno and Las Vegas. It's not random behavior. It's, it's not you and your luck. It's a choice by Nevada casinos protected from being observed by many slots players because of their strong belief that winning at slots is random and nothing matters. No slot strategy matters. Addressing those Addressing those slots players who believe this misdirection from the casino industry, despite the evidence, please, please, please do us all a favor and keep on believing it. We need you to. Stay strong and don't be swayed by logic and observation. You've been assigned to help casinos pay their bills because we've stopped doing that ourselves. Sincerely, sincerely, thank you. It's an important task, and we're depending on you. If you are interested in this slots, uh, if you're interested in the slots winning strategy for Nevada casinos, realize what I've told you is just the beginning. When do out of towners start start showing up? It's not Saturday morning, but rather around noon on Friday. And when do they leave? Well, not Sunday, but rather Monday morning. And knowing when the odds of winning at slots is turned way, way down matters. So you still have some work to do to optimize this strategy. And that's okay. My job as a teacher is not to give you fish, but to teach you to fish. Another aspect you need to consider is combining strategies, which is more advanced. Let's say you play slots and are winning in mesquite during the middle of the week. You're winning at slots but have some losses, which reduces your profit. Might you add other strategies on top of what you're already doing to win more or reduce your losses even more so your profit is higher? Sure. Consider taking my online course for improving your slots play, 30 days to play slots smarter and win. With it, you'll, you, you'll get lifetime access, a free copy of my book, Learning to Win, and spreadsheet templates for slots record keeping for income tax preparation purposes and gameplay analysis. We'll talk about that in a minute, gameplay analysis. You'll also get one month free membership to my Slots Enthusiast Growth Network, where you'll get community support and accountability. 30 days to play slots smarter and win is discounted at 50% off for $100 savings. Visit professorslots.com slash 30 days to learn more about this well-received course, including a full description of its contents as well as testimonials. That link is also in this video's description. In the meantime, we've gotten a few donations uh, already. Um, first off, we have uh, make sure I'm counting this. Uh, uh, Thank you, Chuck. Um, thank you. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, he's funny. Um, uh, Chuck is uh, the Chuck from uh, the podcast a few weeks ago. Um, and uh, <laughs> you know he's funny. So Chuck has uh, uh, given $20. Thank you so much. 
58 times. That's what the 58 cents means. Uh, again, thank you so much. It, it, it's helpful to keep the show going, uh, uh, things to be paid and all of that. So uh, uh, he says in his super chat, as they call it, um, morning all, uh, Chuck Fest wraps tomorrow, giving blood now. So often on a Saturday, we'll be seeing notes from him saying, well, I'm giving blood right now, but I I'm watching the live stream uh, and Chuck Fest is a reference in, in case you're new and you don't see this every week uh, or last week. Uh, Chuck Fest is uh, his week long celebration for his birthday, um, although I'm, I could be wrong. It might be a month long. <laughs> um, and then we also have. Uh, oh, and did I give you this? <laughs> and also, uh, Magpie uh, Eleven has given uh, a nineteen ninety nineteen dollar and ninety nine cent donation, uh, and we put that up on the screen and it says, "Good morning, winners! Uh, thank you, uh, Magpie Eleven, very much uh, for your donation. Um, it it helps. Uh, every donation helps keep the my business going." Uh, I've, um, uh, Right. So I, I see we have lots of comments and they're coming in from all over. Uh, uh, and um, let me see if we have, I didn't have, I haven't asked you a question, but I um, had maybe a 20 minute conversation with in the live chat before uh, starting today. I got done a little bit early, so I thought I'd just join the live chat. Um, and there's a couple of questions that I was able to answer there. Uh, if you are Watching this recording, the live chat, chat is not available to you. It's only available live because I turn it off afterwards. Um, so you have a reason to be here live. Now, I am uh, trying for the very first time, and let me see if I can check that. Uh, um, maybe not. Uh, I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to use my software to send this to the 18,000 ish, uh, more than 18,000 people on my main uh, Facebook group, Professor Slots Enthusiasts, uh, so they can join in and just gives me another place to track. But I sort of, <laughs> I did it midstream. <laughs> um, so it may not actually be going uh, technical uh, things, but, um, and, and I have some other notices and other things, but I'll do that at the end. Um, and as always, we're talking about the weather and people are talking to one another and, um, uh, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> and I'll mention it's seven degrees wind chill, uh, here today. So that's pretty cold. Um, right. So let's see uh, if there's any questions this early that I haven't answered already for people. Um, lots of people saying hello. Denise, Jan, Chuck, Kevin, uh, uh, Noel, Noel, um, uh, and okay, uh, and um, I don't see a question, so I'll move on. Uh, and East Texas uh, from uh, Minka, Marsha is uh, Washington State. Yeah, call out where you're from, uh, just so we can give people an idea of, you know, you, you can tell them. So, uh, and uh, Barker says, uh, good morning, and good morning, Barker. Uh, and questions. Uh, um, yes, if you wouldn't mind uh, clicking the like button and maybe sharing uh, this, on, this uh, live stream on your uh, social media networks, that would be awesome. Uh, I always forget to ask, uh, and I and I really should uh, do that. Um, more the merrier, right? And I think I'm kind of caught up. Uh, that's what I get for uh, coming in 20 minutes early, uh, and, and and taking all that. <laughs> um, uh, and I'll, I'll, uh, I, sometimes I just like sit and watch uh, everybody uh, talk amongst themselves in the live chat, but we'll, we'll move on and I'll watch for these, um, uh, this. Uh, oh, there's a quick question, I think, from Badland. Uh, uh, you can ask um, uh, any, most anybody here. It's about one in four casinos. Uh, if you're in Las Vegas, uh, it seems to be working at most of them. Now, if the casino, and that's 
true what I was saying about Mesquite. If the casino doesn't want you to win, you won't. I don't mean you. I mean anybody. Uh, and and they'll just turn that. They'll just turn this turn it down until it's nothing. Uh, so you have to find a casino which has it, and then you have to find a week which is not. <laughs> <laughs> not the first or second month of the year, as we've learned. So winning at slots in Nevada cities during the week is just one example of how easy it is. Yes, I've glossed over casinos deciding on some weeks to not let anyone win, weekend or not. Any time from just before Thanksgiving through the end of the year is fine. But the first two months of the new year isn't fine. We see this trend all over the country, not just in Nevada. Um, thank you, Russell, for your donation. Uh, Russell has donated uh, $19.99. He's uh, uh, saying good morning from South Dakota. Good morning. Uh, so that's what we're seeing. And it's not just um, uh, Nevada casinos. We've, we've been seeing some of that nearby. It is possible to win. Lightning can strike uh, uh, anywhere despite the odds being turned down. Uh, there's always always a chance. And so uh, an unpredictable chance, a non-repeatable chance. But then uh, it's there. Uh, and so some people just play for the odds of being struck by lightning. Um, but but with this sort of behavior, you know, these concepts are easy. I started uh, pre-selling my online course almost a year ago, then because people wanted me to actually do it. And I, and, and, you know, so many people signed up to, to, to buy it before I had created it. I went ahead and created it and started offering it in May last year. Yes, lots of dedicated diehard fans found me beforehand and read, watched, or listened to anything I put up on my website, podcast, or fledgling at that time, YouTube channel. Uh, and um, I, I just want to make sure I capture all these. Uh, thank you, uh, Sun Barker, for your $20 dona donation. It's very much appreciated. Um, and he's, uh, is, uh, uh, he, I, I assume he, uh, thank you. He says, thank you for sharing your knowledge. Or you're very welcome. Um, happy to do so. And, okay. Um, uh, so I'll, I'll try to come back to the live chat and, and uh, pick up where I left off uh, in a few moments. But again, all these concepts are easy. And most people, um, for instance, most, most people don't keep notes. But I encourage doing so because most of you have been with me uh, for about a year, if that. You've started to see the value of those notes and from what I hear have begun taking even better notes because of the value you've gotten from them already. We could have a whole live stream on what slots enthusiasts are seeing from those notes on playing slots at different casinos at different times of the year. End of month, early in the month, Fridays, this casino, that casino, there's they're getting so much good information because they wrote down what happened on that day. Now, maybe you need to go to a casino more than once a month to get some of that value. But if you see that it's terrible, what's the next holiday? Pop quiz. What's the next holiday? Put it in the live chat or put it into the, uh, I guess you could see other people answers in the, in the recording. Um, and, and, you know, we have, I have a holiday schedule and what's the next holiday? It's three days away, two days away, three days, three days away, less. Um, and so, uh, you know, keeping track of when those things happen and then what your casino does. Did it celebrate? Does it celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Does it not celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Uh, you know, which does it do? And do you need to go to take advantage of that at your casino? So this, this is what notes provide. You might not think that's a big deal, but, you know, <laughs> you, you you go to a bookstore, you buy a notebook for like, I don't know, 20 bucks, you know, for a really nice one for 20 bucks or you know, 15 bucks or, or, or less. And, 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 you know, you, you read these notes and you make a thousand dollars or $500 kind of pays for it. <laughs> 
So, <laughs> um, I, 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 you know, taking notes, I, I, so many people who start taking notes are coming to me and saying, I need to take better notes because, and, and, and I mean, that's what I did. And that's, that's you know, what, when I started seeing some of my strategies in my notes and just sort of like, wow, there, 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 because I wrote down what I do. It's a habit I've had my, my whole engineering career. Um, even as a student. So um, again, we could have this whole live stream on what uh, slots and enthusiasts are seeing. Uh, uh, if you want to share what you're seeing in the live chat, go right ahead, please. Uh, and, uh, you know, share in the comment section if you're watching the recording. Uh, we all learn by working together. Uh, so, but let's focus on, on one thing. Uh, something I've been a little surprised by myself. It's not that it was happening, but it was hap that it's happening to so many. Figuring out how to win is easy. And assuming your casinos are letting you win, you are. As we discussed, winning is easy when you realize better how casinos and slot machines work. But what you've noticed is that, um, but what you've noticed is that now that you're winning, you're getting you're not getting as much of those winnings out the casino, out of the casino as you'd like. Often, none of your winnings leave the casino with you. You've learned two things. First, that winning at slots is easy. It's not complicated. Uh, getting, optimizing it and figuring out which of the strategies is best at your casino. You know, you do one thing and you win money, but if you did the other thing, would you win more money? And you have to, you know, there's, there's things to be optimized. But so the first is when, winning at slots is easy. Um, second, that leaving your, with your winnings is hard. Is that what you're seeing? Yes. No. If you're not having a hard time leaving with your winnings, you know why. Practice, practice, practice. A good pair of running shoes, a lockable wallet, a spouse who holds on to your winnings for you. Whatever works. Only a few slots enthusiasts know what works for them. The rest need to figure it out. There's a, uh, to paraphrase Dave Ramsey, he's a financial guru uh, who <laughs> doesn't like gambling, uh, but he, he says, um, uh, nobody is born knowing how to uh, manage their finances, right? Uh, some people have learned it for one reason or another. The rest need to figure it out. Far too many slots enthusiasts are losing. Not losing right away, but winning at slots, then losing it all. During my consultations, sometimes clients tell me that they lose at slots. And I ask them, do you win? but want to reduce your losses or do you not win at all? Because those, those are two different issues. If you already know how to win at your casino, that task is in fairly good shape, but you know, there's, there's always more wins and bigger wins and optimizing strategies. You know, maybe you're using my five spin method, but see, you never need to make more than three bets to win. Fine. No harm done. You just, you know, I wrote my five spin method so you would stop when you won uh, or after five bets. Uh, but others have found that this approach works a whole lot better at their casino if they use eight bets. To them, I say, well done on learning how to fish better. Now, if only they could all, you know, if only they could all get their winnings out of the casinos. It's well known that slots are uh, our casino's biggest moneymaker. As my channel grows, as my audience increases to the point where it's the biggest slots channel in a year or two, maybe, we are hopefully, um, you are going to start to negatively impact the world's gaming industry. Negatively impact casino profits. But not if you win and then can't leave the casino with your winnings. Winning and then losing it all won't negatively impact casino profits. Heck, casinos love that because their revenues increase despite 
you know, despite profits remaining the same for the, for them. What will negatively impact casino profits is your learning to leave with your winnings. Now, I, I'm not out to hurt casino profits, not deliberately anyway. My job is to help you win and leave with your winnings. It's a two-step process, <laughs> but but now you've you but now you found out and I'm uh, you know that that you need to leave with your winnings and that it's not easy and I'm listening uh, and that you that you need to keep your winnings uh, you can't have the first without the other of course okay so how do you leave with your winnings <laughs> <All right. laughs> once you understand that uh, the first uh, pro the first thing for <laughs> I'm doing this wrong how do I say this uh, the first thing to solve a problem is to recognize you have one. If you weren't winning, why would you even know that it was difficult to get out of the casino with your winnings? But now that you're winning, suddenly you uncover, how do I do this? How do I get out? Um, so, you know, for several reason i for seven for several reasons i won't explain just yet i think the best way to learning how to leave with your winnings is to ask someone you know how they do it successfully your spouse your cousin family members neighbors asking someone who you know and trust works best but often there is an immediate problem they don't know either <laughs> you need to become, you know, you'll likely need to become the gambler they know who is successful at keeping your winnings so you can tell them how to do it. <laughs> uh, okay, so if not people close to you, you know, because they don't know, where do you go? I've been honored that many of you have chosen me. I think it's second best, though, for, for, a, for, a, for a simple reason. Unlike your friends and family, I can't go with you to the casino and help you leave with your winnings. If you're at, you know, even if you're at the casino right now watching this video live or as a recording later, I've already mentioned in this live stream several methods for keeping more of your winnings. Let's go back through them. A good pair of running shoes, a lock of a wallet, a spouse who holds onto your winnings for you, or, or uh, a significant other. Whatever works for you. Also, practice, practice, practice. But those approaches are strategies for keeping your winnings. I give them to you freely like I'm handing over a fish to eat. I plan to do better at teaching you how to fish. It's not, I mean, the, the, the running, the, you know, good pair of running shoes, it's something of a joke. You really shouldn't run in a crowded casino. <laughs> so, so, you know, what does it mean to have a good pair of running shoes? You know, in all seriousness, it, le it means leave. Just leave. Win and then leave. Whether you planned to leave or not. Maybe you drove five hours to get to that casino. And, you know, I, 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 how, how far was I away? I was like an hour away. Right. That was uh, Belterra Park. Um, I had just gotten there. I drove an hour and 20 minutes to get there and I, I won, you know, I played the five pull method on all of the slot machines in the high limit room. It only took me 20 minutes. Uh, I was done. I was going to come back a week later and I'm just like, I was planning on staying the whole day. I was going to hit the buffet. You know, I was, I was going to make a day of it and it's 20 minutes after I got there. I guess I'm going home. Maybe I'll mow the lawn or something. <laughs> you know, I just, it was change of plans, change of plans. Sometimes, you know, you just get out, get out. So even this explanation is um, of what it means isn't enough. I need to expand on this, make it into a short uploaded video, market it far and wide and add it, you know, to a playlist, add it to my resources for the course materials and do the same for lockable wallets. Not just one lockable wallet, but all the best lockable wallets. You can see two of them, let me point directly, uh, two of them right here. 
Uh, and, you know, there's a, um, you know, there's, there's even one that comes in pink. Because if it's more fashionable, more fashionable, maybe you'll use it more often. <laughs> so, so uh, luckily, uh, you may have noticed that in the last week, I posted every day. Uh, the week before, um, it, I posted about uh, about half the days, about four days in a week, three or four days in a week, depending if you include the live stream and all that. Uh, and before that, you know, it, it it's been months since i've done more than one other video besides a live stream in the last year so i've, I've done over 100 live streams in the last couple of years uh, and um so i made a decision to increase my production and start sharing all these things and i have planned out my videos for the next year till the middle of march 2023 I haven't made them yet, but I know what I'm going to be presenting. And I got to tell you, there's more content than I know quite where to put up. I'm thinking maybe occasionally posting two videos a day <laughs> because, you know, we're, I, I made today's, uh, you know, uh, live stream and topic and put all that together. And I'm like, need this video, need this video, need this video, need this video. And, and so there's a lot of things for me to cover, um, you know. But let me ask you, what, what do you, what, what do you, know, let's not ask you, what do I use? What works for me? I use a pocket of my jeans. Would you like to see my pocket? It's just a, <laughs> you know, a pocket and a men's pair of jeans. I've trained myself to consider it as a deposit only pocket while at the casino. But that's what works for me because I did the work to practice, practice, practice until it became a hobbit, hobbit, habit, sorry, <laughs> hobbits. Um, uh, but this may not work for you. Um, using a deposit only pocket, assigning a pocket to be deposit only may not work for you. Why? Because men's jeans have bigger, po bigger pockets by a lot than women's jeans. No, I don't know why. I'm sure there's a reason somewhere. I just, it, it, it just is. Anybody could instead use a backpack or a messenger bag. Poker players often use bags, but remember, you'll need to show the security guard what's inside when you arrive at the casino. And you really ought not take it off your back or over your shoulder because you don't want to leave it somewhere. And that's complications to being in the casino. Well, I'm, uh, you know, so there's, there's, there's another, we haven't met, mentioned, um, uh, or I haven't gone into, which is, uh, giving your winnings to your part, your partner. Well, <laughs> I, I'm not getting between the two of you. If that's your approach, I'll let the two of you figure out how to best accomplish it. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to get between people. <laughs> um, so the most important thing, the most important thing is to use whatever works. Ideas are endless and mentioning too many of them adds the burden of having to choose from them. Pick one. Then practice using it until you get good at it. Um, if you're good at it instantly, congratulations, I'm jealous. And so are the rest of us. It can take a while. If you fail, forgive yourself and try again. When I was making my deposit-only pocket a habit, I failed at first. But over five or six tries after five or six casino visits... I get closer to the casino exit <laughs> each time <laughs> with money in my pocket. Uh, practice, practice, practice is a real thing with building a habit. So pick a way to keep your winnings and practice until you do. Um, let's see. We've got a lot of questions. Uh, and so let's uh, jump back a little bit and take a look at some of them and some of the comments. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wow, uh, I think I went back this far. Okay, William is talking about uh, Tulalip Casino. Uh, is that very far from Muckleshoot? <laughs> There's a, um, other podcasters who just love shouting Muckleshoot. <laughs> you know who I mean, perhaps. 
and uh, you're welcome, uh, William, for the show. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, C-130 is uh, uh, told his story about uh, going on a cruise uh, in uh, their senior year of high school, 1988, 1988, walked in the casino and put $1 in the machine and pulled the handle and, and, and won uh, a triple bar three times. Um, so, you know, I talk about how long have these things been going on. I saw a episode of Columbo from the early 70s about cruise ship slots, and he explained the five spin strategy. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, wow, <laughs> you know, it, uh, how they do it technolo uh, technology wise has changed. I, I, you know, some people uh, are objecting to my approach that uh, despite everything, uh, slot machines are completely random and no strategies exist. And I'm, I'm just like, not even money management. But anyway, um, uh, I try to, uh, you know, point out certain things uh, to these people, but sometimes they just swear at me and, and that's, you know, they're not listening. So I, I just turn them off. But, um, you know, when you, when you, uh, uh, what's my point here? <laughs> um, uh, right. Uh, you know, when you look at, a, um, uh, I get upset about trolls. <laughs> um, and that's why I have Paula. Paula, thank you so much for, for moderating today. Um, yeah, I'm glad that you won uh, C-130 uh, in 1988. Uh, when you go on a cruise ship, they'll like you know, for you to win early in the trip, and then the rest of the trip you spend it all. I don't know if you remember, did you get any of that money home? That's my question for today. Uh, and uh, right, uh, <laughs> he answers, um, you know, he made $100. Uh, the the win was for a hundred dollars. I was hooked. He said, and that's exactly why they that you, why you want it. That's what they wanted to do. Get you hooked. Uh, you know, people are getting online slots in new gaming jurisdictions across the United States, uh, brand new, and they're winning. And they're like, "This is great." Well, they're getting you hooked. It's like a business plan they had to explain to their investors. And in the second month, we'll turn it off. So, yeah, great. You know, if online slots comes to your gaming jurisdiction, your state, your U.S. state, enjoy. But wait for the moment. The moment will arrive. Second month, second year, something where you got to be prepared for, to turn it off, to not be hooked. Take advantage of them turning up the odds and then be prepared to stop. Uh, I went through the, all this uh, with ABC News, even Evening News, Channel 27, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, where they were asking me about their local casino. And uh, they uh, went through the gaming statistics. I encourage them to do that for Pennsylvania, and it has monthly. Uh, I'm doing... Uh, 20 U.S. states that have return statistics uh, once a week. It's not very popular. People don't like looking at graphs. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I will have articles in the future. I may stop once I go through all 20. I, I may not, you know, wait four months and see what's been going on in the last one. Uh, <laughs> you know, the people in Connecticut just loved yesterday's presentation on return to player. And <laughs> that was one out of every 50 people <laughs> that are my fans. And so the 49 out of 50 were like, I don't go to Connecticut. Um, but if you go to uh, professorslots.com slash ABC 27, uh, uh, that'll give you a shortcut to their website and uh, they will show, you know, how the first month they opened was set at this high number on the player win percent. And it's never gone that high since. Also, listen to the last few seconds of the anchors talking to one another. It's like an eight-minute uh, video, and the, they ask questions of each other, like, why is this happening in Penn National? Why is it so hard to win? Because they don't have any competitors. Like, Philadelphia has multiple casinos, but not in Harrisburg. Uh, it, it just no alternative. Kind of reminds me of um, Hard Rock Tampa. You know, they, the casino knows perfectly well. 
that you have uh, nowhere else to go unless you make a long, long trip. Uh, but on the other hand, Mohegan Sun in Connecticut, speaking of yesterday's Connecticut uh, return to player, Mohegan Sun and Foxwoods have, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, competed with one another to the point where Foxwoods was the second largest casino in the world. Um, uh, and then I think uh, Windstar opened uh, and then that shut down. But lately, Mohegan Sun has started um, a business of running casinos. And they even have one on the Las Vegas Strip recently, Mohegan Sun Casino. And I think they have like a Virgin Hotel there. I'm not sure if they own it or if they're just running it. It's details, details, details. Uh, and so, and, and, and they're doing more and more of that. But then you have, um, you know, MGM Springfield, who somebody was telling me this morning, a mouse ran up their inside of their pant leg. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just kind of, kind of down, you know, this is allegedly, uh, it's kind of gone downhill, allegedly. Uh, but you know what? I, I was tracking all that back in the day uh, before they opened, a year before they opened, because I, I kind of started off in Foxwoods with, with some people, and uh, they're still fans. Like I said, the early people were talking to me all the time, and, and when I had a small group, I was able to answer everybody's questions multiple times. Anyway, uh, Mohegan Sun and Foxwoods built – built in loyalty to their members because their members were starting to get excited that MGM Springfield would open in a year. And so they nipped that in the bud uh, by, by, you know, Hey, you just love us. And they'd spent the money to, you know, give their pay, their patrons uh, what they really wanted. Uh, how, why would we ever want to go anywhere else a year before MGM Springfield opened MGM Springfield opened to all the best things and they just didn't even see it coming. They, they got whacked. You know, the, did the general manager lose his job because of the poor performance? I believe he did, or at least it was really questionable about it in the news. It was a podcast that followed all of that. And it was just like, they got a shellacking and it hasn't gone lo well long-term. Yeah. Uh, so, so there's all of that. Um, I won't go into uh, some of the, uh, it's almost like a border war. Uh, MGM uh, is trying, you know, wanted to get Springfield opened and they did, but they also wanted to get MGM Bridgeport open in Connecticut and Connecticut is resisting. Uh, the casinos are lobbying to not have MGM open a ca casino in their, their, their area, their gaming jurisdiction. So it's all sort of like, I want to get, don't even get me started on riverboat casinos uh, on the De Plaine River between Illinois and and um, uh, uh, Indiana, and how they'll put <laughs> one uh, riverboat casino on one side of the river with certain gaming rules, and the other side of the river would be other gaming rules, and they just try to like pull from one another's crowd. I'll go to the other one, and they're open all day. Uh, well, are you going to the one? Why are you going in the Illinois side? It's closed for two hours in the morning. Gee. <laughs> And it's just like a border war. Okay, so uh, how are we doing? I see <laughs> we had twice as many comments now. Um, uh, before, uh, so uh, William says, thanks for your show. Uh, um, yeah, St. Pat's uh, Easter, thank you. Uh, spring break, that's a good point. That's a good point. You, there's, there's holidays, but there's also national events. And uh, college spring ba break, you know, some of those people are of age or they go to a, a, a state where it's of age uh, and they can gamble. And you betcha, you betcha. Uh, Easter, spring break. Uh, and, oh, uh, 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 St. Patrick's is huge at uh, uh, San Manuel. Uh, uh, Yamamoto, Moko, uh, uh, that's the new names, April Fool's Day. I don't know. Is, is that, does your, does really, does your casino celebrate April Fool's Day? <laughs> uh, another Easter. Uh, I think you're sticking my, your tongue out of here or something. Um, <laughs> uh, and people saying hello to one another. Uh, oh, uh, uh, pa uh, St. Patrick's Day is really big in uh, Deadwood interesting see this is what we learn it's a group effort um 
<laughs> is that Patty? Patty is uh, uh, the famed Patty, uh, sister of Chuck. Wow. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see, Marsha. Are they on a timer? Uh, it's yes. Uh, it's not a complicated timer. Uh, it is a schedule. And it's a weekly schedule. They set it a week in advance and they just go with it. So it's not like you walked into the casino or they put a, you know, counter on how much you won. You know, that's for one thing, nobody, you know, nobody cares when I say this, but that's totally illegal. <laughs> nobody cares. So I try to give other reasons for it just to not be a good idea uh, to do that. And they don't have to. It's, you know, the, the thing to realize, one of the most important things to realize, and it's a little bit subtle. And I talk about this in the course. It's a little bit subtle, uh, but I hope you can see what's going on. If you have a broken slot machine in the casino, the casino is not making its profit from that slot machine because it's off. On average, let's do this right, bring out my calculator. On average, a casino makes $518 on a slot machine profit per day before charges like electricity. This is, this is after they've given back 90%. They make profit, $518. Per day times the average number of days 30 in a month 30.4 they make just under sixteen thousand dollars so if they have like a large slot attendant break room which they could possibly make smaller you know, you can imagine how much space that would be that wide and that long and have enough for eight. Have enough for eight slot machines. They would make over a quarter million dollars in a month with those eight slot machines. Pure profit. So, you know, there's there's uh, things to be looking at here uh, that that. Um, uh, do that. Um, Anna, I, I, you may have asked this question half an hour ago, but I just answered it uh, about uh, online slots. Uh, take advantage when they first open your game in jurisdiction. And then after that, they just, you know, there's very, there, I have a bonus, a bank the bonus uh, strategy on those. It's, uh, it's my only strategy on online slots, but it's, you know, better if you find one that just opened in a gaming jurisdiction, but they only do that once. So, uh, right. Yeah, the Foxwoods or Mohegan Sun? I forget. One opened in 1993 and the other opened in 1996. Over and done. Over and done. Uh, let's see. Right. Uh, running shoes, right? <laughs> um, yeah, it's funny, but it's also people are like, no, what do you mean? Am I running? Uh, and I wanted to make sure that I, ex uh, you know, ex explained a little bit today, but it's basically get out, you know, as I um, sometimes joked with my, my students, get out, get out. Uh, hard to explain that joke. So Stump Stump says, I go to Little River in Michigan and uh, noticed that for about an hour, a section of what I call the casino was hot. And then I would. Uh, and then it would switch. Am I crazy? See, this is why people are finding me. They're like seeing stuff and they don't understand. And they're like, what is that? And I'm explaining. So yeah, I've seen that. Uh, it's uh, a strategy that I call um, the casino environment. You listen and you wait for that. And the only, the hard part about that strategy is um, what do you do? You know, I, I brought a book, my favorite book, to the casino and the security guard, the, you know, letting me in. He was just like, well, you can't bring a book in here. <laughs> I'm like, why not? <laughs> so they might, you know, uh, get upset. Uh, so uh, thank you. Uh, Robe, um, I don't want to lose my place. I'd love to. Let me see if I can do this. 
uh, and uh, put your super sticker uh, up on the screen. Thank you very much for your twenty dollars donation. It is very much appreciated. Uh, and I want to go back to where I was in the live chat and try to <laughs> take the money and run. Right. Right. You know, do I have to have a catchphrase or something? <laughs> a shirt that says get out. <laughs> um, uh, Lisa, uh, we're not uh, we're way past that. Um, let's see. Uh, Steve is here. Good, 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 good. Uh, and that's your problem, not knowing when to leave. I was up $400 the other day and left with nothing. It is a common problem. Uh, I knew it was a problem, but I didn't realize it was a common problem. And so I, I'm going to be focusing on that uh, in, in more upcoming videos and adding it to the course. I've already said all that. But, uh, yeah, that's, that, that is a problem. And also, that's, that's what's going to get casinos upset with me. Because if you spend everything that you win... They're just like, great, you know, the revenue went up, gave it all back. But if I can help train everybody to leave with their money, that's going to hurt them. So if you don't believe in slots uh, uh, having any sort of anything but random, then, you know, please, please keep on giving casinos money. That's we need you more and more <laughs> as we win more and more. Um Let's see. Uh, yep, stories, stories. I want to make sure I capture anybody. Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, you know, there's a word I don't like, which is discipline. Uh, it's personally from life experiences where the, the word was overused. Uh, but that's what you're looking at. Uh, but you don't get discipline by just getting discipline. You, you build it. You practice, practice, practice. I prefer practice, practice, practice over over discipline. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, um, Lisa. There there are abuses out there uh, for uh, for gambling, um, but I think part of it, you know, as with anything, is not knowing there's resources available. Uh, uh, you know, to educate yourself, and there's been a total, total lack of education on slots that's not a good situation to be in uh, and so there are abuses because why wouldn't there be you know there's no alternatives uh yeah i can understand uh, mikey says yeah we're on a theme here uh, i kind of wish never had started um great stories and all of that yeah absolutely yeah uh that's what happens uh, and thank you for appreciating my my, my page and site. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, uh, um, anyway, I, I don't want to get it too off track. Uh, you know, you see a lot of misleading things on the Internet. Uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of slots channels and you watch people play slots and win. And if you make a nice, clean edit. You know, if you hold yourself still and don't move and and don't move the camera, you can't even tell if there's a new, um, you know, win. Uh, if there, you know, that they didn't, maybe they played for half an hour and didn't get a single win. Well, let's just edit that out and go from win to win to win to win. You know, I, you know, I I don't want to judge people this this way, but those slots channels is that. Misleading? Is that lying? You know, making, is it making people think that that could happen to you? You know, I, 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 I tell people 30% 30, 30 of your bankroll to 50% of your bankroll above your bankroll. This is what to expect in your winnings. You know, you take $100 in, you leave with 130 you take $100 in, you leave with $150 on average for a year, okay? And people are like, that doesn't sound like fun. I'm like, you want me to lie to you and tell you that you won a million dollars, $34 million on a megabucks machine, even though you can't and weren't playing it, they don't have it in your state and all these other things. You know, it's just not logical, um, uh, not even possible, but people try to get, you know, 
you are a group of people that it is possible to get you excited about winning. And so people use that to <sighs> scam. Uh, or at least mislead, or at least market, or something. So I, I'm, I'm going to get away from this. Um, uh, Mike, uh, Mike H says, uh, "Okay, uh, Art and Tina White, uh, what's the best machine in the high limit room at Belterra, uh, Cincinnati, Belterra Park?" Um, and I think you said something about uh, Golden Goddess. I haven't been back. If you stay, if you take a step back and you look at the monthly returns from the state of Ohio, you'll see that Belterra Park is the lowest returns, and it's like a gap. They're below everybody else, and there's a gap. It's that bad. So you know what slot machine? Okay, we'll talk about that because sometimes people don't have a choice with to the casino that they go to. Um, I found the five spin method worked at Belterra Park. That's where I actually found it. Uh, but it's been purchased by Boyd Gaming. And even before that, they turned it down because they were losing so much money. Uh, and it took 18 months. That's I went for 18 months and I just watched it go down and down and down and down slowly. But after 18 months, it went down to less than I was paying. So that's where the five spin is at, if Boyd Gaming even kept it. I haven't seen if they've actually added anything because I don't, I didn't care for what I was seeing. So I have better places to spend my time. Uh, but it, you can check to see if location, location, location works. You can uh, consider that, that strategy. You can consider um, uh, some of uh, just checking the time. Uh, you can check to see. Uh, um, uh, sorry, I shouldn't have looked at the, my my comments coming in. Um, you can check to see if the casino environment, when everybody's winning, maybe you can win. Uh, that, you know, that's that's something that's possible. Uh, and um, you know, I should probably go at some point, despite their low rating. They're you know being at the bottom of, uh, of the well and, and buried <laughs> as far as return statistics. Uh, I should probably go and review it uh, because it is that close to me. I I have fond memories. I want a car there. You know, I have fond memories. It's just very upsetting to see in, in the condition that it is now. Uh, see if those other strategies work. It used to be the five spin method. That was everything that that all I used. Okay. Um, whew, uh, Mikey H asks the question, I find if a payout hits the machines around, it hits for hand pays. And you have a move in a few minutes or so. A new place is a high room, does the same thing, etc. cetera. Um, I don't see a question. Uh, I, I don't see a question there. Um, let's see. PNTD Black. As soon as you get a profit on the casino visit day, uh, leave, come back another day, treat yourself to lunch or dinner somewhere on your, uh, on your way home as a reward to yourself. Sure. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> and and uh, Kevin has told us exactly which button or which which pocket he uses and keeps his cash in <laughs> as a bank. Um, uh, sorry, Kevin. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll make sure to give you a hug the next time I see you and kind of pat you down. <laughs> All right, it's getting a little strange here. Um, uh, let's see. Um, people talking amongst themselves. Uh, and that's great. Um, uh, a L L L X frenzy says, hello, professor slots went to the casino Tuesday night, won $200 by the entrance and I limit room and left. Thanks for your information. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Uh, was your bankroll, I know, I know it's probably late, too late, but was your bankroll a hundred dollars? Uh, so you doubled your money, you know, that's, that's a hundred percent profit, uh, which is above what I predict or hope for you. Um, you know, you can always see that the, the thing is people win 30% over their prof over their bankroll or 50% over the bankroll. And then I kind of like go see, but then they don't leave. And that matters as well. I can help you win, but I got to get you out the door. <laughs> so I can help you win, but I got to help you get out the door. And and that's uh, what I'm working on to you know cover that systematically. 
uh, it's in the course, but I hadn't realized it was such a big problem that I want to, that I need to kind of like talk about it a lot more. Uh, Art and Tina White says, oh, I already answered that. Um, uh, yeah, okay. A casino queen and king. Uh, is there such a thing as a professional? Uh, I tried to answer this early. Uh, why am I not? There it is. Uh, is there such a thing as professional slots players or just rich people with luck? Um, you're sort of insinuating a bunch of things, but I'm just going to go directly to your question uh, and read it literally. Professional slots players no longer... Um, you, there's no way for you to currently become a professional slots player. If you were one 20 years ago, 10 years ago, the IRS won't remove that status from your records. You know, you could have become one some time ago, but they've stopped doing it. There is, if you, if you apply, if you say, I'm a professional slots player, a professional gambler, and my game is slots, they will challenge you. They will audit you. They will take you to court and they will say, prove it. And one way you could prove it is to write a book about how to win at slots. So I could do it, but why would I bother with the court fees and the, you know, the time spent and arguing with the, you know, I, I, I don't need that. You know, it's a, Time out of my day, time out of my life, money out of my pocket. Um, you know, supposedly I'd win, you know, <laughs> whatever. I, if you, and we'll see if that ever changes. You know, if we have a ground roots, grassroots method, a gr grassroots growth, and everybody understands the change, I, I don't know, it would take 10 years. You know, how long did card counting uh, become popular before it was actually invented? You know, you've seen 21, the movie, right? Um, yeah. So I, uh, so there's that. Uh, your second question was, uh, is rich people with luck? Yeah. Um, I was at Horseshoe Cincinnati when it was a horseshoe, downtown Cincinnati, and an NFL football player for the Cincinnati Bengals came in and sat down and played the $100 denomination machine. There's two of them. And they played one of them, and they just put money in and put money in and put money in and... I don't know. Did he win? I wasn't keeping track of, you know, if they were making a profit or anything like that. You just had to have $80,000 to play it with the same uh, same number of wins, you know, 800 times. Uh, actually, it was, uh, wasn't was a one-credit machine. I think it was like a three-credit machine. So uh, it would have been $80,000 would have been 80 800 of those divided by three, roughly uh, 270 bets. I was making 270 bets on the machine next to it, which was a $5 denomination machine. And I won a bunch of hand pays uh, and I made a profit. So maybe they would have too. Uh, maybe if it was a winning machine, mine were sort of like visible from the door out onto the casino floor where everybody was playing table games with, and that machine was turned sideways and not so much. So, uh, you know, maybe they would not have won and then just taken the NFL players money. You know, that's, how I look at this. If you're asking about, um, and, uh, I think Kevin said something about maybe you were asking this. If you're asking about people on slots channels, we already talked about editing out, um, you know, long sections. It's a, it's an entertainment channel. It's not an education channel. Slots channels like that are for entertaining you. And so, uh, as Brian Christopher said in an interview like two years ago, nobody likes to watch me lose. But now they're talking about, um, yeah, and he has moved to, uh, and how successful this is going to be. He has moved to just, you know, showing all of it. Uh, and he stated in an interview with uh, some people uh, at the end of last year, November, um, no, I, I don't make money at this. I make money at the video, at YouTube views, but I don't make money from playing slots. I just spend $10,000 a visit. And it's gone. Yeah, sure. Maybe they, they, they win something, but they're there to spend that. And it's not about like winning. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. So uh, to learn more about my 
30 Days to Play Slots Smarter and Win online course, currently at 50% off for $100 savings. Visit my website at professorslots.com slash 30 days for a complete description, testimonials, and the valuable bonuses you get free with the course, including lifetime access, one month free access to my new uh, slots my, my Slots Enthusiast Growth Network support community and a free PDF of my book, Learning to Win, and spreadsheet templates for slots record keeping. Those are so valuable for income tax preparation purposes, but also gameplay analysis. Links to both are available in this video's description. So, you know, as a public service announcement, re uh, remember that tonight is, uh, uh, rather tomorrow night, is uh, when we all turn our clocks forward because daylight savings begins. Second note, uh, public service announcement, or rather second note, is I will not have a live stream next weekend. I have instead a family wedding in Michigan. So I will be out of town and without my phone, or, or rather without uh, having Wi-Fi or internet connection sufficient to run one of these. So yeah, uh, uh, that is, uh, we are not having a live stream next weekend. Now, uh, maybe you want to know, what are some good money management tips for slots enthusiasts? In this playlist right here, which will be here in the recording, um, uh, uh, you know, I explain a bunch of practical tips. So if it is important to you to fully, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, save and control your 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 bankroll in the casino environment, you can click this playlist you see on the screen right now in the recording and go into a lot more detail about how to make that happen. So click that playlist and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Sorry, I couldn't get to every question. <laughs>